comic has absolutely no credits. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking for them. Dave, I'm searching for something. Was he on TV? Did he uh, perform for his mother in his living room? Ungats, as they say. Eddie Ift. Eddie Ift. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Well, Joy, you look very thin. Thank very you. thin. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I would, I would get on my knees, but I'm afraid I won't get up. Keep it going for it. Joy Behar, everybody. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I just put my hand on the back of Joy Behar. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I wish I was on The View and did that. Um, to Whoopi. Uh, uh, oh my God, this is the best show I've ever done already. Uh, it is, because I'm not even a comedian. I'm part of Make-A-Wish Foundation. And, and uh, uh, Good, you guys laugh at that shit. Some people don't like when you're funny. Uh, I was on stage last night and I called a heckler a retard. And a woman got so mad after the show, she's like, I need to speak to you. And I was like, oh, I bet this is gonna be fun. Uh, I've never had that from a guy. It's always from a woman. I need to speak to you. Uh, if it's from a guy, he's like, I've got cocaine in the bathroom. Uh, but it's a woman and she goes, I need to speak to you. I go, what? She goes, I loved your show. It was great. And I was like, yeah. She goes, until. And I was like, ah. Uh. She says, until you called that heckler a retard. She goes, that ruined the show. In fact, it made me cry because my son is retarded. <laughs> Don't laugh, I felt terrible. I did. I did, I felt terrible and I'm not good in those situations. I didn't know what to say. I was like, How retarded is it? Because there's a lot of levels, and uh, no, but like people, you know, when people get mad at words, like uh, I, I hate when people get mad at a word. Like my one of my best friends, one of them, and not not my best friend. He's like one of them. He's gay. He's gay, and I, I live in a, uh, shut up. Uh, and and uh, uh, he, uh, we, were, we, were in the, we were in the dog park the other day, and we were walking our dogs, and I wanted to leave, and I go, let's go, faggot. And, uh, and this other guy, who wasn't gay, goes, you can't say that. And I go, faggot. He goes, you can't say that. And I go, faggot. He goes, you can't say that. And I was like, faggot. I was like, apparently I say it pretty well. And he goes, you're not supposed to say it. I go, but he's gay. He goes, then you really shouldn't say it. I go, but he called me a faggot first. He goes, what? I go, yeah, I was sucking his dick. I was like, oh, 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 oh. And he was like, suck my dick, faggot, suck my dick. Well, the guy was gone at that point. He, he, he literally covered his ears and ran out. Like, and I was like, goodbye, word police. I love when people like say you can't say a word. Like that gives the word power. When you don't say that. Ooh. Like my gay friends call each other faggots all the time, so you can't call them that. And it, you don't. You take the power out of the word. Uh, you know. And sa same way black people call each other the N word. But I still don't call black people the N word. <laughs> because I'm not afraid of gay people. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not afraid of black people either. That's a joke. I'm not afraid of black people. Uh, unless, unless they have a fever and they just came from Western Africa. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. You were all afraid for two weeks. Everybody was afraid of Ebola for two weeks. America was like, oh my God, Ebola, we're gonna get it. We're all gonna die. And then they came up with ISIS. 
And we're like, fuck Ebola, I'm afraid of ISIS. Now, I was like, if the media really wants to scare us, what they should do is they should say, there's one guy from ISIS with Ebola. <laughs> and he's on a plane. We don't know where, but he's coming to America. Ebisis. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to be in New York because uh, I live in California and it's way more multicultural here. This is like, you see everything here. California, it's like there's a little bit of white people and then like a lot of Mexicans. And, <laughs> and you don't have Mexicans here. You got Puerto Ricans, which are like the kind of little cousin. And, uh, <laughs> but you don't have a lot of Mexicans. And I, I live in California, so all my jokes are about Mexicans. So I'm like, fuck, I got to bring a few. Uh, <laughs> That's my goal. I'm gonna bring like five here, and then in like six weeks, you'll have like 80,000. No, seriously, they're like gremlins. You get them wet and they fucking multiply. I didn't, I didn't hear anything you just said. It just sounded like a woman talking, and I'm really good at zoning that out because I'm married. Uh, I'm married, uh, but this next joke is a joke. Uh, I, was, I was having sex with this girl for this joke, and immediately afterwards, she cried like they all do if you choke them well enough. Uh, what? Choking's the new anal, and uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, I, <laughs> so, so I'm choking the shit. No, I'm joking. I, I didn't choke her. I swear to God, I made sweet love. I don't know how you make sweet love. It was sweet. I like kissed her, and uh, <laughs> but we like made love, and she cried. I had a girl cry after sex, not like tears of joy. Like she cried, like sadness, and that's not good. And then she goes, this is true, she goes, I have something to tell you. That's, that's never good after sex. That's never followed by something like, I have the best score on Candy Crush ever. <laughs> she goes, I have something to tell you. I go, well, you better tell me. She goes, I have. Cancer, and I was like, "Woo! Well, that's not contagious." <laughs> Holy shit! You scared me. That's a you problem. That's not a we problem. Don't ever do that shit again. You almost gave me a heart attack. You selfish bitch. <laughs> Think about somebody else once, <laughs> once in your life. Oh. Um, Oh my God, seriously, what a bitch. Um, oh, so, uh, uh, a lot of black people here. Um, I like black people. Um, black people were awesome. White people, I watch the news. You and your guns, you need to shut the fuck up. You, like, white people, if you want to keep your guns, shut the fuck up. I watch the news every time there's a sh school shooting, like every week, and, uh, and they do an argument for the guns. White people come on and talk about their guns. You need to shut up. You just need to shut up. You ever see them? They're on there. They're like, the government's never going to take my guns. It's my constitutional right. You want to take my guns? You got to come to my house. You're going to have to pry them out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> You want to keep your guns, learn from black people. You ever watch black people on the news? They're like, guns? <laughs> no gun here, I didn't see a gun. Anybody see a gun? I didn't see a gun, nobody saw a gun. I didn't see a gun, nobody's got a gun. You don't know my name, I don't know my name. Yeah. Thank you guys, you guys are, uh, you're here, I'm here. Thank you, thank you, I met again, thank you.